Hello everyone and welcome on board for our next flight. Today we are looking at Hong Kong and um, there's a specific reason why I'm doing this. So we will actually turn around the Disneyland Hong Kong, which um, I just wanted to briefly see, but uh, to be honest, unfortunately it's not 3D modeled, so it's not as exciting. But Hong Kong is a city I really, really desperately want to go once. Um, there are a lot of reasons for that. I remember a few years ago uh, that I I had a job working for Maserati. Uh, we, we worked with our agency for Maserati a few years ago and um, we were doing some kind of stuff for the new uh, Maserati Ghibli back then. And actually that was really cool because they had some cool photography from uh, Hong Kong. And back then that was the time where I was like really in love with Hong Kong all of a sudden. I was like, what the hell, this is so cool. I never, you know, I never had a context for Hong Kong whatsoever. I always had Hong Kong in my mind as, um, yeah, kind of a Chinese city, which I knew was a bit more Western oriented than the others and was in a kind of a self-regulated and then self, uh, you know, ruled area of China. That's basically the only knowledge I had about this. But, you know, I was just kind of um, interested in seeing how that turned out uh, now in Flight Simulator. So I, I basically went there and honestly, I know now again why I was so amazed by what we have seen there. Like Hong Kong as a city, and I know why a lot of people call it Hong Kong, uh, is uh, breathtaking, even in, in the flight sim here. So I'm, I'm not really sure exactly what to expect once I might be able to go there in the future, but I am just a really, 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 um, passion person when it comes to these kind of special cities. Um, I'm not in general like a person who not, uh, who likes to go to cities in general, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm just very excited by crazy cities. Like I also love Bangkok, even though that Bangkok is pretty stressful. <laughs> like it's it's a super stressful city, you know, truth to be told. Uh, but at the same time, I'm, I'm just like way into these kind of things here. And with the lake, well, it's actually not the lake in the middle, it's the sea in the middle here. And with all the mountains and the you know greenery around it just looks so special and it's so exciting and overwhelming here to experience that in the flight sim i really have to say that this is um some cool stuff and yeah just already taking you uh, on this flight here through my thoughts um making sure that you guys also keep an eye on the comment section and please make sure to drop your ideas down below where we could fly i really want to make this a little bit of a of, of a series where we can actually have a little chill, relaxed little fly, um, discovering a little area, not long, you know, 10 to 15 to maybe 20 minutes max, nothing nothing crazy, and just exploring an area. So if you guys have a special area to go, um, let me know in the comments down below, and we will then just have one. I will most likely pick stuff that I have a story to talk about. Um, I mean, this story over here, honestly, is not that big of a story. I also remember that, which Need for Speed part was it? I think it was, was it Carbon? I think it was Need for Speed on uh, Carbon that was taking huge inspiration here from Hong Kong, um, if I remember correctly. And also I played a lot of that game, hoping back then it was a successor to uh, uh, and, uh, Need for Speed Underground 2, which it wasn't, unfortunately, uh, not at all. Um, so that's a bit unfortunate. But I think, you know, still that kind of feeling of Hong Kong and, and also, you know, car racing back then uh, paired with uh, with the story of Maserati just gave me this specific vibe. And honestly though, I can also open Instagram now and I've got a lot of, um, you know, a lot of uh, kind of uh, friends that, you know, just um, live there at the moment and they just keep on posting a lot, which I think is, is kind of fun. I, I think it's, um, it's it's really cool to see these these kind of impressions from a city and just thinking about what to say right now because well we are just passing over Disneyland by the way this on the left hand side is Disneyland um, Hong Kong and actually I have a I have a story to tell about uh, Disneyland Hong Kong if you have seen the series um, of uh, Disney's Imagineers on Disney Plus um, you potentially know this story already but <clears throat> this Disneyland over here was. Um, you know, the next Disneyland after the success story of uh, the other Disneylands they have started to build across the world, especially Tok uh, Tokyo Disney, which was a huge success. <clears throat> and they tried to uh, build a smaller park here, which is a one day park. And the problem was that the um, Chinese people, they, um, at least that's what they tell. And I don't want to, I don't want to say it's my opinion, but at least what 
in the documentation they said that um, it was mainly the problem that Chinese people back then were really focused on, on numbers and they were just basically counting the numbers of rides and attractions in, in, the, in the park and they just figured it's way too low and so they just decided to not go there because they found it boring. And uh, yeah, it kind of was a little bit surprising to hear that because I, I technically um, still think that it doesn't matter how much rides and stuff you have in a park to judge if it's good or not. You know, if the scenery is right and stuff and you have a great immersion, also a park with less um, attractions can be a better park than another one which is just on the numbers. But anyways, that's how it worked back then. And also they had some weird issues again with the asphalt. So it was way too hot the first day and so um, the benches and stuff kept sinking into the uh, pretty much new asphalt, which uh, was pretty, pretty fun because they had the same issue in the very first Disney park in California many, many, many years uh, earlier. So yeah, quite a fun little story to know uh, but I think by now uh, Disney Hong Kong is still not the most loved Disneyland of all uh, but you know it exists and I think it's still very nicely uh, visited or across the year but it's you know just not incredible but yeah now we are taking our fly a little bit further here into the central area of Hong Kong and, and taking the stream of water here as a little guidance for us trying to keep it quite low like way lower than we are allowed to but still um, trying to actually not we are still in an area which is fine but I'm just getting getting lower where it's not allowed anymore and I'm also a bit sorry that you can see all the landmarks I just didn't figure how to disable then um, in the end I finally figured out how to <laughs> disable those landmarks so in the next couple of videos I will be able to dis disable these little pins which were pretty annoying especially by taking taking a screenshot later on but finally Finally, I found this option. To be honest, they're maybe just talking a few bits about uh, the flight simulator itself. I enjoy it throughoutly, but there are a few things in here, especially in the menu and UI, which is super confusing, which like I, I still don't get why they hide some major options in menus while they have some very unnecessary stuff, very prominent sometimes. Maybe it's just me who doesn't need all those features, I guess, but all over the place I'm, I'm still a bit confused to be honest why certain things are the way they are and some other things just are completely hidden away. It's like I, I don't want to go into into assists to disable these like landmarks and stuff. I don't see them as assists, like this is for me an overlay and an overlay you have some other stuff which is still not an overlay if you ask me, but you know, that's just kind of nitpicky thing here. Um, all over I just like it um, quite a lot. Like it's uh, it's a very, very crazy and good immersive experience. The only little downside is sometimes the map data is quite outdated, which I found now by, by flying through some uh, various um, locations that is uh, a bit unfortunate but yeah so there's a whole bunch of stuff coming um, I also got the request and I will do this as well um, that people also like some flies without my voice over which I can totally understand but if there's a video with my commentary over it well that's just for those like to hear that you know um, and uh, for all the others I will make videos without commentary and I will put this in the title so that people actually have an idea that this is the sole and pure flying experience I you know I get that people like to watch it but um, if there's commentary you gotta have to bear with it or just not but um, I you know I don't want to start making videos only out of commentary because a few people like this more so I will you know offer both and then people can still decide on what they like more or not but it won't it won't be the same flights obviously but that would be you know pretty boring but anyhow so you can actually see um, we are just taking a little turn here to the other side of this little mountain or hill if you will and then we are taking another turn back um, through these two mountains which I found very exciting um, because just having a little glimpse of how it looks and the environment over here is just very nice and again I think if anything I want to go there even more than before now <laughs> after this flight I am uh, really really impressed by how this all looks and it's just uh, pretty incredible but yeah I'll leave you alone now for the last couple seconds of this flight and I hope you enjoyed this little course over uh, Hong Kong today 
uh, or Hong Kong or however you want to call it, this wonderful city. And I really hope that despite all the political issues there are right now, um, the city will find its um, balance again and then one day I can actually visit that in real life. That would be absolutely dope. Let me know down in the comments below which city you would love to visit one day, which is your really one, one target you really want to visit you haven't yet. Let me know in the comments down below and I wish you all a very nice day. Goodbye everyone.